Okay, first, Lindsay, I just want to say that I um, am truly sorry for the pain that you've been feeling. And I can tell that you are struggling and have a hard time. And I want you to know that I really am here for you. I'm going to try my best to help you in any way that I can. Thank you. No, um, one's, no one's ever said that before. So that's uh, nice to hear. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, the first thing I want to hopefully ease your mind about a little bit is your MRI, MRI results, uh, especially with your age. Um, it is very likely that if we were to take 100 people that are your age and had them receive the exact same MRI, many of them would show the exact same thing that your MRI shows, but they are not struggling with pain and discomfort and things like that. So what your MRI is showing is not necessarily why you feel the pain that you're feeling. And in fact, it, it's very possible that it's not. Um, what it could be though, is that your nerves may be, since you've been dealing, this, dealing with this pain for an extended period of time now, your nerves may be a little extra sensitive. Uh, and the reason why this happens is, right, normally all our, our body will sense things. Like if you get touched, you know where you're getting touched because your body tells your brain where you're getting touched, right? Mm -hmm. um, and <clears throat> that information goes to your brain and your brain interprets whether that information is dangerous or safe. If that information is dangerous, meaning the brain feels that you're in a dangerous situation, you will feel pain in that area because your brain is telling you, hey, let's protect ourselves here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> what can happen though over time is if that pain, if that sensation and your brain is feeling over and over again that this is dangerous, that that sensation can become heightened. So this is very possible, the reason why it hurts even just when I was touching on your neck. Um, do, would you say that you could agree with me that just touching your neck shouldn't hurt? Yes. I right, agree. normally, like I can touch my neck and I don't feel any pain. I feel that I'm touching myself but I'm not feeling pain. Mm -hmm. And that would be normal. But over time, if, if your nerves maybe have become a little bit more sensitized, that touch can be interpreted by the brain as something dangerous. And so you feel pain there. And there's things that we can do hopefully to help calm those nerves down, to help get you into a position where you're not feeling that heightened sense of pain of danger, your brain isn't worried about that so much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's something that I'm really hoping that we could work on and see if it's able to help us. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to mention too that research has shown that can have an effect is outside influences in our lives. So I know that you talked a little bit about how you were raised by your grandma and she's been struggling some with her health and that puts some stress on you um, and worrying about her and also worrying about the you know, financial aspects there. Things like that are being anxious and, and stressed and nervous. That too can also play a role in um, our, our nerves and our, our brain interpreting things maybe a little bit more sensitive than they normally would mm -hmm. and so i don't know have you are you like meeting with a counselor or anything like that like, i know this is sensitive topics and so if you don't want to talk about it that's okay um are, have you been able to receive any help for the things that you've been struggling with and worrying about i mean i have thought about it but i think i'm just worried that it'll end up costing too much and that that'll create more stress for my finances. Um, but I guess I haven't checked with my insurance yet, so I could do right. that and see, but I would like to get help with it because anything that helps, you know, I'll yeah. do. Yeah, for sure. 
no, I totally agree with you. And I can see that you are struggling and life is hard. I totally get that a hundred percent. And so um, I do know a couple people that uh, would be willing to help for sure. So if that's okay, I could write you a, a referral um, and I could give it to you and you could reach out to them and you can say, hey, uh, Eric, let me know that you, you could help me potentially with some things that I'm going through and they'll know exactly what to do. That's Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's, that sounds great. Okay. Thank you.